Hello, dear student. How are you, everyone? Yes, sir. Alhamdulillah. We are fine, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I, today I discuss on chapter five. My topic name is programming language. In previous classes, we discussed about loop control step. Today, my lesson is conditional control step. I share my screen, if everyone see that screen. Yes, sir. Let's look at the picture spell. Advice, instructions, assistance, reactions. The air is forward. Forward means for instructions. Our lesson for today, condition control statement used in C language. You will learn at the end of this lesson be able to say what is the control statement. Be able to say what is the conditional control statement and be able to create programs using conditional control statement. Now I discuss control statement. In AC, programmer executed sequential. This happens This happens where there is no condition around the statement. If you put some condition for a block of statement, the flow of execution might change based on result evaluated by the condition. This process is referred to as decision making in C. The The decision making statement are also called as control step. In C programming, conditional statements are possible with the help of the following three constructs. One, if statement, two, if a system. Conditional control statement. What is conditional control statement? The C program uses conditional controls to perform a conditional step. If the condition used in the conditional control is true, one type of result is found in the program. And if false, we found another type of result. This picture shows if statement, if else statement. Else if statement, if statement, you, uh, the reaction is bar. If else statement, reaction is two. Look at the pictures. Else if statement, look at, reaction is three. Switch system statement indicate multiple instructions. One of the condition control statements. In earlier classes, we discuss uh, types of statement. There, we know that there are two types of statement. We know that there are two types of statement. One is called conditional control statement, and another is called loop control statement. Conditional control statement. There are four types of conditional control statement. If statement if else statement, else if, and switch statement. Now I discuss the syntax of if statement. 
it is one of the powerful conditional statement if statement is responsible for modifying the flow of execution of a program if statement is always used with a condition the condition is evaluated first before executing any statement inside the body of if the syntax for if statement is as follows if a condition then action if condition then action the picture shows condition there are two step condition there are two cases if condition is true then conditional code if condition is false then another case. now let's create a program with the help of if statement how to program how to write a program to create group based on roll number here i used an example in a class those students whose roll 1 to 30 they are group a those students roll 31 to 60 they are group b those students who roll 61 to 90 they are group C. Now I discuss my program. Hester include stdio.as. Hester include ponyo.as. This two is called header file. STD means standard, IO means input and output. This, file, this header file is used because of in our C program, we use a lot of input output function. If you use any input output function in your program, you have to declare your header file before writing your programs. Now I write void means. In previous class, I write in main. Those two are correct. Now I discuss void. Void means null. Main is called function. Uh, there are two types of function. Abu sir, do you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. I can hear you. How many types of function? Anyone can answer? How many two types? types? Of, very yeah, good. Two types of function. Okay. They are? It's a library function or built-in function and user-defined function. A library function or user-defined function. Library function is called built-in function. Very good answer. Okay. Then second bracket. Second, the function of second bracket is program execution start at last end of the program. The second function of second bracket is program execution end. After second bracket, we know that the function is variable declarations. We know that the rules of variable declaration. There are a specific rules how to declare a variable in your program. The rules of variable declarations, first you have to choose one data type. If you are a good programmer, you have to know how what type of program you write that is i mean that uh, is how what type of the program um, what type of data in your program such as for, for my example 1 to 30 31 to 60 61 to 90 all these data are in this data okay the rules of variable declarations there are uh, first you have to choose one data type then variable name choose data type and variable name with that we know that there are four data types such as integer data type floating point number double precision and character integer data types we use keyword int 
Keyword. What is keyword? In C, there is some reservoir. This reservoir is called keyword. Some books are, there are 32 keywords or there are 47 keywords. Both are correct answers. That I discussed uh, in letter. So now, we, we choose our data type is int, money integer, then variable name. Variable name, we under, we call it, you know, the definition of variable is the, all the collection of input and output of the program is called variable. It is also called informal definitions. The, all the collection of input and output in your program, roll number is your input. Okay, then I write semicolon. Semicolon, if you if you don't write semicolon, there have, there have been error occur. We know that there are three types of error in C programming language. One is called syntax error. Second is called logical error. And third one is runtime and execution time error. Syntax error means you have to miss your comma, semicolon, inverted comma, and grammatical mistakes or spelling mistakes. Okay, print tab. Now I write print tab. Print tab is called input output function. The uh, function of print tab is to display something in the monitor. Uh, enter your roll number. I uh, ask my student to enter your roll number. You put your roll number 30. Then I answer you, the, you are now group B. Group A, sorry, group A, scanner, scanner, the function of scanner, the percentage D, inverted comma, comma, and roll. The end roll is means that a roll is integer data type, and integer in memory, integer data type, there are 16 bit, 16 bit data to allocate memory space for roll number. 16 bit or two byte. Okay. Now, if statement, if roll getter or equal one, mind it, getter or equal one, and, and, two and symbol means and. It is called operator. What type of operator can any anyone can answer? What type of operator? Relational operator. Now logical operator. Also. Logical operator. Two and two and symbol is called logical operator. Okay. Roll getter equal one and roll laser equal thirty. Then action. Okay. This is called condition, then action, second bracket of the action, print up group A. That means for those students who rule 1 to 30, they are consist of group A. Another condition, if roll 31, greater or equal 31, and roll laser equal 60, then action, uh, they consist print up, Group B and third one, if roll error equals 61 and roll laser equal 90, then action print tape group C. And last one is as usual, we write return zero and second bracket and that means program and look at the right side of the screen output. Enter your roll number, you put 55 from keyboard, then 55 consists of group B. This is a board question. This question is also called board question. Uh, uh, for using this type of program, if statement, we also create a about we also write a program a grade calculations. Uh, that calculation, for example, uh, 
those students who got 80 to 100, A plus, uh, 70 to 79, A, such uh, like that. Okay, understand everyone? Then I discuss if else statement. If else statement in C program, otherwise, otherwise, useful term word, otherwise, use in a sense, sense that if statement is followed by the else statement. The format of the statement is used of if else. See, there is else. Now, the syntax of if else statement. If condition, then action one. If this action one is called true statement, else means otherwise, then action two. This, may, this means that you false statement. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. Now this is called test. If test is true, then true body, the test condition is false. Uh, in test, we put one condition. Condition is true, then true body. If condition is false, then false body. This are next statement. If this is called if then statement. Program to check, program to check if number is even or odd, okay? Include stdio.x integer main. Here, there is no difference between them, integer main and void main. Integer main is also called library function second bracket, then it's called, then I declare a variable. Again, we say that the rules of variable declaration is you have to choose one data type for you according to your program and variable name. Number is even or odd, always be integer data type. And n is number, n is number, n is input. The pin tip, enter an integer. Enter an integer. You also write printable between you also write the enter your number. It's connect percentage D and N. And N means it's connect means you you gave or take input from keyboard. Now condition if N is divided by two, then remainder is zero. This condition means if we divide it n by 2, then remainder is 0, then printed percentage d is even number. Even number, that means we say that if we divide any number by 2 and the remainder is 0, then the result is even. Otherwise, else printed the number is odd number. It turns 0. Look at the output. Enter an integer. Put integer 89. Answer is 89 is an odd number. 89 is an odd number. This program is called if else statement. If else statement. We also this statement used to determine a year is leap year or not. Another is LCB statement. LC, LCB is third statement. LC is used to verify multiple condition in the program. LCB statement in C is like another if condition. 
it's used in a program when if statement having multiple decisions multiple decisions star expression true statement false expression true statement then false statement last one is act the syntax the syntax of if else statement if condition one action one else if condition two action two else default action and following this action n now let's create a program with the help of if else statement problem input any number from the keyboard and see the number is zero positive or negative determine positive or negative number as is well we declare we write one hand header file then it is a main second bracket it is a n there is n is an input in the vendor number percentage of and n okay if n laser equals zero you entered a negative number lc if n is greater than 0 you entered a positive number else you entered 0 return 0 here there are three condition if one condition it's true negative number here else if it is true is positive number and last one else is if else you entered 0 now right we write our end our program look at the output enter a number if you keep you, you using your keyboard you put a number 44 you enter a positive number if you give number uh, minus 7 then you enter a negative number we determine a number is zero positive or negative swiss statement last one is swiss statement the swiss statement allows us to execute one code block among many alternatives in a syntax of swiss uh, swiss expression is constant statement then break if condition two constant two statement break and following this default default step we look at example swiss step for example in uh, we use a program include stu dot x integer main then integer x is equal to 2 mind you where data type is integer x is variable but we assign x is equal to then swiss x is a function x is a function means we assign to then x is defined to okay second bracket case one pin tab choice is one break case two pin tab choice is two break case three pin tab choice is three break default pin tab choice other than one two and three break return zero now look at the output if you keep it uh, if you press two if you press two choice is two if you okay uh, if you using keyboard uh, press three then the uh, output show that choice is three yeah. this is the switch system Work. what is the following is used for two condition which of the following is used for two condition if if else switch or uh, else if by if else structure anyone can answer which of the if else okay assessment what is control statement what is condition control statement 
uh, homework target is a program to check EPR. You determine, everyone determine how to uh, how to determine a year EPR or not. You use EPR system and write a program to find the largest number between two numbers. Uh, this is also you used EPR system. Thank you very much. Now, I asked Tanvir uh, Anju. Tanvir Anju, do you hear me? Tanvir, do you hear me? Email. Ibria email. Yes, sir. Okay. You said that how many types of statement, conditional control statement? There are three types. No. Maran Tausif? Yes, sir. Four types. Very good answer. What are they? Uh, if, if else, nested and switch. Okay. If we use if statement one or more than one condition. So for one condition, we yeah. use if. Am I correct? Okay. We use if else statement for two conditions. For two conditions. One is called true condition, another is for true statement, and another is false statement. We use, why we use, when we use switch is, uh, LCB statement. LCB statement, uh, Abu Sad, can you answer me? Why do you use LCB statement? Abu Sad. Hello, Abu Sad. Uh, sorry, 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 I couldn't hear you. Abu, uh, sir, when, yes, sir. We use, when we use LCB statement, how uh, many conditions? Sir, actually we use uh, LCB statement uh, to specify uh, if the first condition is false or not. Okay. Just like we said that in conclude, we said that the, when we determine three conditions, then, uh, for example, in our classes, we determine how what number is positive or negative or zero. Okay. So, is statement is used? When uh, Saleh, Saleh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Saleh, you told me, you tell, uh, tell us, tell me, you say, that, say you, uh, when we use Swiss statement. Sir, when we want to verify one code block amongst many alternatives. Okay, very good. Many alternatives. For example, when we uh, call a customer care number, and then we, uh, if you contact your, uh, you, if you first you have to choose your language. If you if language is Bengali, then you have to choose one. And you have to learn any language in English, then you have to choose two. Okay. Customer care. Uh, for example, I uh, told you that in example, for one customer care executor, the Swiss statement. Then we place two, uh, but place one. Then we, then they say, also say that if you appointment a doctor, then you place one. <coughs> if you contact, uh, you contact a customer manager, talk to a customer manager, then you place two. This is all multiple, multiple conditions. For this, uh, this cases, Swiss is used. Now, anyone can uh, answer, anyone can any question? Or could, could our process? Do you have any questions? Understood everyone? The four program today I discussed. 
Você não lembrou? Você Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. So now I finish my classes. Okay? So all the best. Assalamualaikum, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir.